In an earlier video, we described the Trimble Installation Manager software and how that could be a very useful tool for updating firmware, checking release notes, and a variety of other useful purposes. In this video, we're actually going to use the Trimble Installation Manager software to update the firmware on an SX10 scanning total station. What I've done so far is I have actually an SX10 sitting on my desk next to me. Uh, that instrument is powered up right now. It's got a fully charged battery, and I've connected a cable between the instrument and, in this case, my Windows 10 computer. But this could just as easily be an, uh, a TSC-7 or a T10 tablet or a similar data collector, but that data collector needs to be connected to the internet as well. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, to begin with, before I actually update the firmware, there's usually a couple things I want to check. And so I'm going to open up Trimble Access for just a moment. And I want to check the and existing... I'm going to check the existing firmware version on that. And typically, on, uh, on most instruments, once they're connected to your computer, if you're using the newer version of Trimble Access, you can click the three little lines in the upper left. And quite often, you can select the instrument drop-down and choose from a variety of things. Uh, in some cases, you may actually have to be in a project or a job to do that. So in this case, I'm going to go ahead and open up a project. And... I actually have a project that I called Project 2, and within that I created a job previously called SX10 Setup. So I'm going to go ahead and select that. And now that I actually have that connection, if I go into Instrument, I'll see some different options. And one of those should be the Instrument Settings. And this is going to allow me to actually inspect the firmware version that's currently on this instrument. So currently this one is showing version S2.2.38. And uh, I know that there's a newer version available as well. On some instruments, and on many data collectors, there will also be a software warranty expiration date that needs to be current in order to update firmware. In this case, it's not shown. But for example, if I were updating the access software on my uh, controller, what I could do for that is I could actually click the three little lines and go to About and that would show me the version and the software maintenance expiration date. But uh, armed with that information, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna close out of the Access software. <clears throat> and now I'm gonna switch over to Trimble Installation Manager. So we'll give this just a minute to close down and then we'll go ahead and we'll start up Trimble Installation Manager. My computer is connected to the internet and we'll give this just a second to close on down. And now I'm going to go ahead and select my desktop shortcut for Trimble Installation Manager. And I'm getting the user account control information. I'm going to go ahead and answer yes to that. And now my software is making a connection. I'm just going to make this a little larger on screen so it's a little easier on the eye. And, uh, and when I'm connected, I should have a series of choices on the left hand side. I want to grab the appropriate choice. In this case, it's an optical and scanning instrument. And the software is actually kind of automatically showing me what the newest version is. However, if for some reason, I didn't want to install the newest version. There's a variety of other versions I can choose from. But I'm going to go ahead and select the latest release. And really, all I need to do for this instrument is simply hit install in the lower right hand corner. So again, you want to make sure that your batteries are fully charged, but I'm just going to go ahead and hit install. And it's actually downloading that software from the internet. This is the online version of Trimble Installation Manager. So I'm getting the software end user license agreement. I'll go ahead and accept that. And it's telling me I should connect the instrument with a USB cable, which I've done. And in the list below, select the instrument, which is this SX10, it's showing me the current firmware version, so I'm just going to go ahead and start that up. It's giving me a reminder about a charged battery. It's telling me it should take up to 20 minutes, but in this case I know from experience that it won't take that long, so I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. And it's starting its process. Now that's going to take a few minutes and it's going to go through several steps. So what I'll do is I'm going to go ahead and pause the video and uh, once it's finished its progression, I'll go ahead and restart it again, and we'll pick up where we left off. So let's pause that video, and we'll be right back. All right, we are back. About uh, 
Well, about uh, seven or eight minutes has passed by since we uh, since we began our firmware update, and during that time, I kind of watched a circular progress wheel go by and watch these numbers escalate and uh, when it completed the instrument rebooted and here we are so uh, so it's told us that uh, the firmware has uh, updated successfully and really all that remains to be done is to go ahead and select finish and just verify that everything looks good so I'm gonna go ahead and close out a Trimble installation manager let me cancel out of this uh, firmware thing and uh, and then I'm going to just go ahead and reopen my Trimble Access software. We'll give that a moment to open back up. Connecting to SX10. I'm going to go ahead and open up my project and open up my SX10 setup job. And let's just verify that we're on the 2.3.55 firmware. Oops, give that a second. Second to finish it. There we are. And there we are. So there we have it. And we've updated our firmware and uh, presumably we've got everything up to date and taking care of the latest embellishments and bug fixes and uh, just moving right ahead. So hope that helps and we will see you next time.